reason in the universe and blah blah blah. Fuck off. No vultures aren't necessary for anything. Yeah, they are. They clean up dead things. So does being dead. They just they just <laughs> they just decompose. do it much faster. They they decompose and go away. Yeah, but that we takes a very long time. Don't they need vultures for that. I don't think they're vultures. necessary. I don't think they are. I don't I think a whole lot that. would ever change in the world if they just did, stopped existing. So maybe not necessary would be the right word then. They're handy. How about that? Maybe. Does that work? <laughs> and I'm, I mean, the last thing I'm going to bring up, I'm just not because um, it it's dark matter and that's just dumb. Oh, really? You have a dark matter one? <laughs> yeah. Let me hear your dark um, matter. We have learned so much about the universe in the past. Fuck off, pop up. Um, in the past few hundred years, but one of the most shocking discoveries that came last century, scientists determined, not discovered, determined that the vast majority of what exists in the universe is totally invisible to us, and we know nothing about it at all. This stuff is referred to as dark matter and dark energy. Yeah. They can't just <laughs> admit they don't know shit. They're going to, oh, yeah, there's some <laughs> invisible stuff that we don't know about. We're just going to make something up to go along with it. <laughs> and you'll never know anything about it. It's just invisible stuff that we can't see, <laughs> way, measure. It's, I swear to God, it's bullshit. I, I call bullshit on science in general just for dark matter. <laughs> just for dark matter and for their inability to measure an asteroid. Like It's it's like, yeah, okay, we, I get that uh, You know your your matter didn't add up. They just say, oh, maybe something's wrong with math. <laughs> uh, don't be like, oh, uh, no, it doesn't add up because uh, really the majority of it is dark and we can't see it. It's imaginary. <laughs> we know nothing about it. We can prove absolutely nothing. But you know what? It exists. It's got to be there. Like, because my math doesn't work. <laughs> it's a dumb thing science is dumb everybody that's that's what that's what i'm saying there it is. that's my uh message to you this was not quite the same <laughs> well i ran out of all the good stuff now i'm working on like b level no your <laughs> stuff is good your stuff was good yeah. we killed off an hour we, we're good oh uh. I'm disappointed with them because just, I'm just running out of good stuff to talk about. Oh, like, we'll, oh, fuck, even the facts are getting boring. <laughs> we'll find some stuff. Don't you worry about that. I didn't think it was boring. I thought no. it was great. I thought this one was boring. I like the other two episodes. What the fuck is going on with this shit? Uh, yeah, no, they're, this is fun. It was good times. I enjoyed it. I don't know. I just said stupid shit. I just, I, I think I'm funny. Um, <laughs> I giggle. That's all that matters in my life. As long as Gord giggles, my life's good. Like, I'm happy. That's that's all I need. Uh, Do you know that there's a northern cardinal that are half female and half male with their bodies colored half in red and the, on the male side and brown on the female side? Yeah, I think that one lived in Vancouver. His name was Doug <laughs> something. <laughs> or Julia, one of the two. One of, well, it depended on the weekend, but... <laughs> There you go. Random thing for you. Cool. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, and... Gord wants to take tomorrow night off. Yes, I do. I don't, but he does. Blame him when we're not on tomorrow. Uh, but I have an episode I can post for tomorrow because I just took one down, so I will put it back up tomorrow. Uh, and then right after that, we have an actually interesting conversation with Mr. Roger Nygaard of Trekkies fame and Curb Your Enthusiasm and oh so many awesome great things. He's got a couple new films coming out that he wants to tell you guys about. How dope is that? Super dope. I know. Very much. Very stoked for fucking Roger. He was a, he was a good shit and very much looking forward to having him back on the show. As am I. So I just thought I'd yeah. throw that in there for those of you who didn't hear it at the beginning. And I think we're just about ready. I don't know if you're ready. I'm just about ready to call it an episode. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much good. So, there we go, kids. As soon as the news isn't a bunch of fucking bullshit lies, we will be back to talking about the news. I promise.
And we have a few new sources we can check out, so possibly that could happen soon. Hopefully. Um, so until Saturday, don't wear your mask or do. Just shut up about it. And don't shoot anybody till Saturday. Give me that. <laughs> and uh, take care of each other. If that actually happened, Eric, it wouldn't hit the news. <laughs> first time nobody dies from a gunshot in the whole world history today nobody died on friday from that and you'd never know about it no they'll never admit that no <laughs> fuckers uh, did you know if you take a piece of basil leaf and you roll it in your fingers long enough it turns completely black um so does my penis <laughs> it's been a long time since i've rolled that in my fingers so yeah I am going to stop recording in a minute because I already said goodbye. <laughs> <See you then. laughs> goodbye.